When I was a child, I remember watching a movie called Artificial Intelligence. Of course, I didn't understand everything that was going on, but I do remember thinking how far off this technology seemed. If you were to ask me, robots with intelligence indistinguishable from a human's was centuries away, if not thousands of years. But within the last year, I've come to see how wrong I might have been. Since 2022, artificial intelligence has seen very significant leaps in development. From Dali 2 and Midjourney 5's merciless destruction of artists' livelihoods, to ChatGPT's grand entrance as the end of academic integrity, AI has quickly changed our society, and it's only going to get more noticeable. But there is a particular point that when reached will greatly alter the trajectory of humanity. This point is the creation of an artificial general intelligence model, an agent that can understand or learn any task a human being can. Or simply put, it's the artificial version of the human brain. On this episode of AI Focus, we will tell you how artificial general intelligence could be achieved in theory. If you love to hear about all the latest AI updates, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Now back to the video. An AGI would be able to understand and learn from experience to solve problems in different fields. From automating certain tasks to replacing monotonous human tasks altogether, the benefits could be enormous. But unfortunately, the potential risk from this are just as enormous. The journey to AGI has been going on for decades, believe it or not, with some of the earliest discourse tracing back to the 50s and 60s. At this time, researchers were contemplating ways of creating machines that could reason and think like humans. Since then, experts' views on the matter have differed drastically. In order to create an AGI, maybe we wouldn't need to understand the concepts of consciousness or awareness. Maybe AGI would emerge from natural selection, just as we did. We already know that cosmic and biological evolution has resulted in intelligent life on our planet, but we still haven't singled out the one true factor that resulted in human intelligence. Was it the social situations that forced the cavemen to widen their cortex, making them able to navigate social hierarchies and communicate in spoken languages? Did the cavemen with these mutations get to survive while their less intelligent brethren died out? Most likely. Artificial intelligence may take a similar approach if it took natural intelligence a billion years to evolve, who's to say a virtualized simulation couldn't achieve results a billion times faster? In the simulation, we should put AI through similar evolutionary catalysts humans have been through. We don't have the hardware right now that could support a simulation running for billions of years, so we'd have to simplify the process while applying evolutionary catalysts. We could start by putting AI agents into the simulated environment. This environment should have finite resources and dangers to motivate competition and the need for cooperation. Large predators, macronutrients, and omnivores would be simulated, along with tool making and communication channels. The world must also feature terrain that could risk falling and injury. Challenges in the environment that groups can exploit to provide advantage must be simulated, along with genetic coding for different levels of aggression. Next, you would tack a scoring system onto each agent to track their relative performance. The better performing organisms would receive mates to reproduce with. Then you would simulate climate changes in the environment to provide the pressure for adaptability. It would take a huge amount of computing power to do this, but it's nothing we couldn't achieve right now. If everything goes right, we may end up with an AGI with similar values and goals to a human. But the only problem with that is, humans aren't the best model for a super intelligent being. I don't know if you've noticed, but humans are extremely flawed and there's a lot of selfishness to go around. Creating artificial general intelligence only for it to enslave humanity and become as powerful as it possibly can would be quite ironic. So maybe we can use man as a starting point and then manipulate the environmental catalyst to result in a wholesome and loving super intelligent being. But in order to get that starting template, we have to use whole brain emulation, which is the process of scanning the brain and imprinting it onto a computer's interface and voila, an artificial brain. But that's no easy feat. The human brain is the most complex known system in the universe, even more than black holes. The human brain contains around 86 billion neurons, with each of them having 7,000 synaptic connections to other neurons. That's 600 trillion synapses. And every second, 
100 billion neurons are firing 5 to 50 messages each. You hear all of those numbers, right? This means it's really complicated to start mapping the brain. And even if we found a way to do it, the computational power and storage would need to be otherworldly. And even if you accomplish that, the computer may run slower than the human brain, and then we'll end up with artificial general non-intelligence. Uh, to actually model general intelligence, you run into all kinds of problems. First, we don't know how the brain works at all. Number two, we've never even modeled a paramecium or an amoeba, let alone a human brain. Number three, there's this assumption that all of the uh, computation is going at the cellular level, at the neuron level, whereas nature is very parsimonious. It uses everything at its disposal. There's a lot of machinery inside the cell that is doing calculations that is intelligent, that isn't accounted for. And the best estimates are it would take 50 years of Moore's law before we can simulate what's going on inside a cell near perfectly, and probably 100 years before we can build a brain that can simulate inside the cells. So putting it at saying that I'm just going to model a neuron as on or off and then use that to build a human brain is overly simplistic. But what if instead of whole brain emulation, we try whole brain imitation? This would involve a huge neural network that could train itself on the inputs and outputs of the biological brain. We'd still need to record a large amount of brain activity and the corresponding input and output of the human and then train the neural network to react to the activity. This would be like a supervised machine learning algorithm. This would result in a neural network that imitates the brain but requires a much lower complexity. But the downside to that is that we wouldn't know how the neural network operates. If we somehow were to create AGI, how would we know when we did it? The most famous way to test this is the Turing test, where you have a human evaluator who has a conversation with a human and a machine. If the evaluator cannot determine which is which, the machine passes the Turing test. No AI have passed this test yet. Then there are the tests that require the AI to navigate the physical world. The coffee test is one of these tests, where a machine is expected to enter any kitchen, find all necessary ingredients and equipment to make coffee, and then make coffee as good as any human could make. Everyone is in a frenzy right now about ChatGPT and how impressive language models as a whole have gotten, but they are just chatbots. They aren't conscious at all. They don't have emotions and they can't think. They're really just professional pretenders. The more developed they become, the better at pretending they will be, but they will never be conscious. But there are already machines that more resemble what a bridge to AGI could look like. DeepMind's Gato, aka Generalist Agent, is probably the most famous example. Its training data consists of as many different modalities as they could stuff in there. Gato performs over 450 out of 604 tasks, at over 50% expert score threshold. When DeepMind scales this concept up, this iteration could be the closest thing to AGI we've ever seen. Slip this into a Boston Dynamics robot, and things will get interesting to say the least. In the 2022 expert survey on progress in AI, it was estimated that there would be a 50% chance that AGI would occur by 2050. 90% of participants think that AGI will occur by 2075, and some believe it will happen by the end of the 20s, but everyone seems to agree that it will at least happen by the end of the century, marking a pivotal moment in our Earth's history. It's pretty obvious that we don't have a clear route to AGI right now. In the end, it could be one of the previous methods or some combination of them, or hey, it might be something entirely different. But one thing's for sure, achieving artificial general intelligence will be the most impressive human achievement in history. I just hope they leave us alive to enjoy it. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel, click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen, and thanks for visiting AI Focus.